Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So it has been a quite a while since I have done a slinky pour. And I think that I can probably do it a little better than the previous ones I have done. So if you haven't seen any of my earlier ones, I'll post some links in the description. I'm going to do this as a clean pour, kind of, sort of like it's an open cup. This is not going to float up though. So I'm going to end up lifting it and the paint will come out the sides which will cause it to blend a bit. So I'm gonna do it as a clean pour. And I'm gonna use a lot of really bright, fun colors today. I've got white, this is pink tulip. These are all mixed media girl pouring paints. I do kind of expect it to seep out of the bottom a little bit, that's okay. A primary red, some purple, royal purple. Everglade green and some primary yellow and I'm not exactly sure how much paint this slinky holds but you can kind of see it's already seeping out the bottom there a little bit let's add some more white and that's as much as it will hold so if that doesn't end up being enough but I think it probably will I can always add some more paint around the sides. Okay, this is the scary part. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull from the top up. Now obviously the slinky's kinda long, so it's gonna, I'm gonna try not to like hit the camera here. And then it'll seep out the sides as we go and the paint will come down. I guess I'll just collect it up at the top here. There we go. <laughs> this is definitely not a, a not messy pour, a really messy technique, but also fun. Probably one that kids would really like. Okay, I'm going to set this slinky over here and we're going to let it just drip and run for a little while and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I let this seep out because a lot of paint gets stuck in between those coils. So you can see there's kind of a huge puddle of paint over here. And just ignore me, I have one glove on and one glove off. Now this part definitely bothers me because we have this, this is actually really nice blending and then we have just this like random white and yellow. So I'm gonna take a stick and I'm gonna actually wreck it. I think I'll wreck it with some color, why not? And that way we won't have this weird kind of just unblended part there. I think the last time I did a slinky pour, I kind of just left it. <laughs> That's, I think one of the reasons I didn't like it. Let's pull that yellow out of it. That is cool. I think I'm gonna love this after I tilt it. Oh, should have wiped that one off, okay. All right, let's go ahead and tilt. I think this would look really cool spun out, but tilting will be awesome too. Let me know in the comments, you guys, if you have tried a slinky pour now I've done it a couple ways. So I've done it like this method and then I've done it where the slinky was already stretched out and I poured over it. That way works too. It gives you a completely different pattern. Either way, you're gonna get a pretty blended look other than obviously that middle. There you go. That's actually really cool. So quite a bit of blending over here. That's all right. Let's go ahead and bring you guys in for a close-up. So I think the next time I were to do this, um, I'd have to be pretty careful with what color I put in the middle. I do love this yellow though, but it, it obviously very much stands out. So to have something a little more blended, I might use a little more, <laughs> a color that kind of goes with it. There's a fish head over here. Look at that. That's kind of cool. 
So there you guys go. Fun slinky pour. And just a pro tip, wipe this off right after you use it, otherwise it will all get stuck together. So I suggest taking some baby wipes or some wet paper towels and wiping it off as much as humanly possible. And then you might wanna rinse it real quick as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you think. Um, let me know if you tried the Slinky Pour because I've done a few of these before. So some other people might have done it and you know, you know, let me know if it's successful or not. Don't forget to check down in the description for all the materials. I will see you all next time.